oh, oh, oh. Day 3. Advent of Cyber. Today is day of OSINT, open source intelligence. So no booting server, nothing going on. We're gonna use real Google searches and looking up domains. Now in the, in the initial uh, part of the task, you can see that we need to recover information from the website called Santa's Gift, uh, Santa Gift Shop. And within this, we need to learn different kinds of things like Google Docking, which is a way of using Google searches, the different URLs you can use for uh, searching on Google, like in URL, file type, site, or cache. Let's go ahead and do some uh, who is lookup. Probably gonna use that to find the registrar of a domain, for example. Also, go ahead and check out the GitHub stuff. So, usually GitHub got different kind of branches on the website, and that's gonna potentially can give out uh, passwords and information of the source code for website. Uh, also check robots.txt if that is something there is. So it's just adding robots.txt after the, the root of the domain. All right, so also you can go ahead and check out the breach databases. So if you have an email, you can put it in and see what's going on. And sometimes you can get some you know, information about breaches. All right, so searching GitHub repos. This is just a small video. You can put in like it's at a gift shop there and you can see that someone, you know, did it. The job for us. So the first task for us is to find out who is the registrar for domain uh, Santa Gift Shop. Santa Gift Shop. There you go. So I took the liberty of opening some of the, the things here. So who is? Put in the URL, and you can see that <coughs> there are different kind of you know um, names. Registrar info name cheap .inc, for example could be one of the answers. So let's go check it out. Name cheap .inc. That is the first answer. Find the website source code repository on github.com and check out this, the, the uh, and open the file containers and some credentials can define the flag. So let's um, go to GitHub and find and you could probably just you know put that in I guess you know and just see there we have it you know check it out. And that should be something like config.php, it sounds interesting. Flag, so tmh, OSINT works. Oh, we need the, that's a weird flag. That's a pretty weird flag, never seen that before. <laughs> if you one time for, what is the file name contain, uh, can passwords now? Usually it's uh, config.php, and that was right. Um, I know that because this looks like, um, WordPress, which is true, VP, WP for WordPress. Um, what is the name of the Q&A server associated uh, with the website? What well, the name of the Q&A server, and we can take the hint and say, check the file containing sensitive credential. So we can go ahead and check like the config file again. And then you have something like, let's see, QA Santa gift shop, should be that. And what is the DP password? So that's um, being reused between the queue and the prod environment. So prod is short for production. So we should go down here and say like, we have the DP password, which is Santa2022. Check it out. And that should be about it for this room here. Now, what you should really learn about this is that you cannot hide anything. Maybe you, you thought that you put something on GitHub and it would be like saved or in some way, you know, hidden because you need to search for it. Many people rely on that kind of way to, to say like, this is obscurity. So who would go ahead and search for that? Who would go ahead and do that for me? Who, now who, yeah, me, for example, anyone could do it. So even though that you, you, can, you can make this a private repository, for, mistakes could be made, uh, made and then it could be leaked in some way. I would never do it, you know, never put passwords directly in, um, in, in these files. If you can get away with it, use other ways and methods, um, maybe environment variables would be a good idea on the server. But in this particular case here, um, we need to define different kind of uh, passwords and stuff for the uh, for the WordPress config.php file that we are looking in right now. Other very interesting parts here is that I really suggest you go ahead and check out the different kind of ways to do Google Docking because you can learn different techniques like in file type, site and cache. 
Uh, let's also talk about the who is lookup can be really interesting sometimes if you're gonna do some spear fishing campaigns that we talked about here. Uh, also, um, robust attacks is a very very important file because sometimes you can see the disallowed path you cannot should not be able to uh, go into. Now, robust attacks is for the search engine, it's not for you. So, asking in this in the robust attacks that you are disaligned slash groups basically means that you can just write slash groups in the U in the URL bar right here. Just groups instead of robust text. And you can access that directly. Maybe, maybe they put some access control on it, but you know, that's not really possible to say just on this file, but you're getting valuable information from it, which you definitely try and access. All right, so breach databases, uh, breach database search, sorry. Mm, it's really good because you can go ahead and check out whether your email got breached and uh, well, or the password got leaked in some way, so you can go ahead and just uh, put out an email change campaign on your job or something like that, so we don't have any compromised accounts lying around. Searching GitHub repos is another very interesting part, as we talked about already. You know, you can find so many good stuff in, in GitHub repos these days. Also, go ahead and check stuff like Stack Overflow and other important, you know. Um, forums to, 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 to help people with code. This particular exercise here is very interesting and I kind of like OSINT. It is one of the things that uh, many people are getting uh, compromised by. So I really hope you do like this and I want to say ho 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 ho